Witness me, Smegma Crazies, and welcome back to Mad Max. Killer, the steel you brought has been very useful. I could sure use your help again. Now, you know my people believe that the Big Wet shall once again splash these barren shores. I need them to keep believing. In belief, there's hope. But they need an idol, a relic of the water gods. And I think I found it. What is it? An idol of a critter of the ocean. It will give them the hope that they need. And their hope will see us through. You'll find it in the wall north of here. Use your long look. So I apologize once again for the uh, delay. I've been fighting off some more sickness this last week, and it's been miserable. But we're uh, we're back dealing with gut gash. We can see with the uh, what you call it, the stronghold being upgraded. There's some more uh, there's some more neat stuff on the walls here. Have you no remembrance of where the steering wheel is located? <laughs> it cannot be alien to one sent by the age. Sure, you test my faith. I've been trying to get that voice line to pop to to pop since uh, since I started this game. It's it's obviously it's a random chance, but man, sometimes it feels a lot more unlikely than others. So Gut Gash wants us to find a uh, what you call it, a sign of the water gods, and well, the game wants us to go to the other side where we'll eventually come out, but I'm not going to go there because I can just go straight to it. See, the problem is it's behind a lock grate, and if we go to where the uh, objective is showing me, uh, it will, we'll see it there and be like, oh, we have to find a way to get on the other side. And the other side is the way I'm going to now. And I figure, you know, why waste extra time? I could just go, you know, straight to the place I want to go to. But yeah, I think this is our second to last mission for Gut Gash. There may be one or two more. Well, I know there's at least one more. There may be two more. Um, something I did think was just like a neat little touch. Uh, when Gutgash asked Max to do the thing, Max didn't immediately chip in and say, well, what's in it for me? Which has been his, uh, what you call it, modus operandi thus far, with pretty much everybody who's asked him to do anything is, well, you know, why should Max do this for you? I just think it's a neat touch. Our reward here is just a significant amount of scrap, which... You know, fair. It seems like if anybody has scrap, it would be Gut Gash. But I don't know if it's an intentional character choice, or if it is... I don't know. I just think it's neat. Still, last time we did finally pry open the jaw, and we'll also be going to visit Pink Eye and her stronghold before too long. Uh, Pink Eye will be in some trouble, but you know what? It can hold off. We'll be there before too long. I mentioned before that I don't really have too much more need for scrap at this point, and that remains true. Even so, uh, more than likely I will be going through and showing off at least, at least some of the fully upgraded strongholds. Um, I want to say to fully upgrade all of the strongholds takes something like 9,000 scrap, which is a lot of scrap, especially considering that the V8 upgrades eventually get pretty expensive themselves. So I can't say for sure yet if I'll do all of them. I mean, I guess it depends on how much scrap I have when I hit the end of the game and I'm trying to upgrade everything, but we'll see. So we're now nearly on top of the place that we need to get to, but to get inside, we'll have to go through this other scavenging this zone. Be it. Like I said, what the game really wants you to do is go to the other side, so you can definitely look at it and say, oh yeah, there's a thing there, I guess I have to go to the other side. But you know what? I'm too smart for that. I'll get you. You bring the car down if you see a flare. Oh, I want not for it, but I will. Gotta see if I can find a way into that storm drain. Uh, 
What? Sentry. Now, personally, I'm very impressed by that man being able to say what, even after his neck gets snapped. Which, you know, to be fair, is probably... I think that's probably going to be no, most people's first stuff. response to getting their neck snapped is going to be what? So, good on him for verbalizing what we've all thought whenever we've been stealth killed in a video game. Uh, something's lurking in there. That dude sounds like me on a good on a good weekend. Tootie fruity, I'm gonna get wasted. Here, over here. I mean, I've never said that before, but I might start now. Despite Max's earlier comment of there's something lurking in there, he wasn't talking about the water or anything. Um, he was just talking about the people in here, because obviously there are, well, there are people lurking. It's what people do. I'm not sure what other kind of animals you could say lurk. Um, rats, maybe? I mean, if this was like Vermintide, the Skaven lurk for sure, but... Eh, I don't think there are any... I don't think there are any rats that large within the Mad Max world. There might be rodents of unusual size. It's hard to say, actually. Hmm. I mean, if you were going to find... I guess it depends on what your take on the effects of radioactivity would be when it comes to local wildlife populations. I mean, we're obviously not quite in a fallout level of radiation where, you know, like you get Yaoguais and mutated rats and all sorts of other mess. I've not really seen... I, I've still seen lizards, and I assume there's large cockroaches. But outside of that, the game didn't really go too much into uh, radioactive animals. But then I don't know. Uh, outside of Fallout, I'm trying to think of other places where I've seen, like, radioactivity cause giant creatures. I mean, there's Japan and Godzilla, obviously, but I feel like Japan and Godzilla, him being giant because of radiation, is more a case of, well, Japan obviously has a different take on the effects of radiation than the U.S. does. I mean, in the U.S. it usually caused superheroes, and Japan it usually caused giant monsters. It's almost like there might be something in that country's past that might cause them to look at radiation in a different way. Suck my crack crack. Hear that? I've had that conversation once or twice with, with people. As it turns out, determining who's on watch is very valuable. And more so than determining who's on watch is when somebody wakes you up to tell, it that, tell you that it's your turn on watch. Telling them off is usually... it's a, it's a universal constant. I'm glad to see some, uh, some social niceties uh, remain past the fall of civilization. Actually, now that I think about it, did he... He said, suck my cat crack. So... Huh. There, there's layers. There, there's layers to that statement. I'm not sure I can get into all of them. <laughs> Good. Just gotta get this thing out of here. A lobster with a pipe. 
Definitely a sign of the water gods. Guys. So yeah, Gut Gash's boys are happy. We're about 200 scrap richer. It's a good day. You know, to each their own. If that if that brings them solace, who am I to judge? Almost there. Test the big tall tower. I'm gonna scout it out before we get any closer. Sound idea. Sound idea. Keep our distance. Rises, roots have descended. Oh. Cannon, piston. We must make our presence felt. No, there's no reason to risk our skin here. If pink eyes should die, we'll use the gear that's in there. Your fabled fingers are nimble enough. My fingers won't fail me, Saint. But these defilers, the very same ones that destroyed my sanctum. Saint, summon into mind the horrors they brought. They will do the very same here, and they will leave no sacred tools! They'll burn what they can't carry. And they break what they cannot burn. Then let's go. Yes. Yes. Fire and brimstone! They're reducing the pink eye sanctum! So, it's been a while since we saw Stank Gum in his mess. We've been taking out a few Stank Gum camps here and there, but we haven't really seen, well, the man himself, and we haven't seen their vehicles for a while either. Stank Gum crew vehicles are not generally very impressive. They're, yeah, they're really nothing, nothing special at all. When I think about it, they, they exist. They've got pretty colors. That's, that's kind of about it, actually. So these catapults, the game wants you to take them out in a very specific way, and Thunderpoons is not it. Well, not immediately. They've got these armor plates on the back, which you would think would be easy enough to just, you know, blow off, but no, the game really wants you to use the harpoon, drag off the armor plates, and then you can do whatever you want to the red barrels inside. Exposed! Uh, 
Let us hurl thunder into its weak innards! You can use shotgun, you can use thunder poons, uh, you can use thunder sticks. There's options. But whatever way we whatever way you go with, you do have to use the harpoon first. I mean, it makes a nice explosion, so I can't complain too much. Blow it all up! Let those hand rats taste their fury! The rest are inside. Let's hope Pink Hot and I'll run Maybe there's a way up through the ruins. Normally we could just drive in, but... Well, with all the mess going on inside, it's a little bit uh, hectic, as you might understand. So instead, we have to go through the hard way. Which, Pink Eye and her crew definitely knew that, the, uh, that this was going to be a weakness ahead of time. So they may have set up a few defenses. Gotta get through the fire. The controls. One down. Now, I mean, my continued question would be, how is it that they were able to set up these defenses, and then somebody was able to get through the defenses and then also reactivate the defenses. All clear. You know, nah, nah. No, not a big deal. It just is. Someone here! Someone here! Wake up! The cut here's the notice we're on top of! The other. <laughs> the Legion is one less. I'm not entirely sure what kind of uh, what kind of structure Pink Eye is inside. I mean, Jeet was inside of a lighthouse. Uh, Gut Gash is inside of an old tanker ship. Massacre. This, I think, is possibly an old smokestack. I mean, it's really it's really thick uh, cement walling, but I'm not I'm not real clear um, on what it is. It, it might be a smoke. You know what? It, it's probably explained in the lore somewhere. That would. That's usually where they explain that crap, but... Just goes show, I'm not reading up on this very well. Shame on me. The only thing I'm getting good at reading up on is these thundersticks.
It seems like they must have had at least some uh, meaningful defenses somewhere along the way. They just don't seem to have worked out for very long. I don't know. Maybe they were undermanned. Maybe they got caught by surprise. Maybe those catapults are more effective than I give them credit for. There's options. Whatever the case, creative explosions solve many problems. Including people. Just appreciating the ambiance. You can't rush exploring places like this. It's like a fine, uh, it's like a fine toilet wine. Sometimes you see some nice things. And then other times you feel like you're just sucking down cat crack. Let's see what's inside. Wheels, wheels, wheels! Lay down your arms. Let's you and me parley instead. No more sticky tricks, Stankum. Today, we finish it. Called my bluff, Wheels. It finishes today. The total eradification of all. You, everything here. Master order this? Scrotus word? Are you playing solo? Oh, it's sanctioned. Tell me about it. On high. Take him out! You tell me, son. Tell you what? Tell me why I shouldn't land a slug right between your eyes. I need your help. Let me get this straight. You come here, stranger to my domain, and risk your life to help us. Yes. <sighs> Desperate and capable. I think we can do business. Let's 
listen, listen, Saint. There's fresh talk of the big chief in Gastown. <laughs> Can we trust it? Oh, these folks, they know engines, huh? And the V8 we seek. Let's hear it. They say to take the big chief, one must win a most dangerous race. Who do I see about this race? The Gastowners call him the Outcrier. Oh, he hangs out near the refinery underbelly. So we have actually unlocked our way into Gastown at this point. But man, there's so much stuff to do though. Jeet will have a new mission for us to unlock the Armory Project here in Pink Eye Stronghold, which, you know, once they get the place cleaned up a little bit, should start looking better. Pink Eye herself will have a mission for us to unlock the, uh, the food, the, uh, the maggot farm in the area. There's, there's options. Pink Eye's a pretty cool lady, though. I like her. The time has come for us to uproot. There's no way we can stand up to gas town. I'm sending my young ones away. Across the Great White. Out the unknown. They'll run out of fuel and die. But we're not using fuel. We'll build a dune ship on wheels with a sail to catch the wind. Why are you telling me this? I think you might help me for a price. I've found a fitting sail. I know where to get it. But not how. As reward, treasure from the days of old. Still buried beneath the dunes and ruins. So yeah, Pink Eye is holding the secret to our last tire upgrade, which are some pretty nice slick, uh, some slicks, racing we'll slicks, that one. When it's safe. Uh, I'll talk about the Great White before too long. It is a... <laughs> an abandoned feature, I guess I'd call it. It was a nice idea that never panned out, but the... the implementation without the rewards is still there. And also it's just instant death rather than... Yeah, it, it, we'll get there. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna take a quick look around the stronghold here, see if they can clean this place up a bit. There is one history item... But next time, we'll be going to finish off the scavenging and gut gashes location. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, so until then, please join me next time.